Hello guys, good evening and welcome to the fifth episode of Viking Gear Review, a video series where I tell you about a few things I've made recently or was able to get and want to show to you. And today's episode will be about Viking Age spoons. I mean Viking Age time and Viking territories. So it's Scandinavia and uh, some Rus territories and some parts of Northern Europe. It won't be a video about all existing Viking Age spoons, but just a small video illustration about a uh, few spoons I've made and uh, sources that I have and use uh, most of the times, and uh, something like that. If you would like to know more about uh, Viking Age spoons, uh, I can make such a video, I will just uh, prepare a bit better, find all the sources that I can and make such a video. But for now such a small video illustration is enough, I think. So as a woodcover I often get orders for spoons, because throughout the history uh, the humanity used uh, wooden spoons mostly, and even in the beginning of 20th century people still used wooden spoons. So in the Viking Age wood was the main material for the spoons. So as I have said, I won't do a full overview of all existing Viking, sp Viking Age spoons. I'll just make a small overview of spoons I've just made. So here we have three models of the spoon, if we can say that. Uh, there are two replicas and two versions. Well, that's one version, just two examples. So let's start with this one. That's the spoon from Birka. Birka is a Swedish Viking settlement uh, where there are not that many wooden finds actually. And that's really great that we have uh, Birka spoons. As you can see, it's uh, quite. It has quite a big bend so it would be easier to use it. It has a neat design with quite thin neck here. As you can see it's really... it's really thin. But it's quite sturdy because of its form. I'll show you how the original looks like. As I have said, that's a replica of the spoon. This spoon is made as close to the original as possible. And here we have another spoon. The original one was found in Novgorod. Its design is quite different and also it's decorated with the wood, with the wood carving. But there are some similarities with Birka spoon. This spoon has uh, the same bend, so it would be easier to use it. When you have a quite, uh, quite deep bowl or something. I will also show you the photos of the original. And here we have the version of the Viking Age spoon. Its design is made of uh, two archaeological finds. Uh, one Novgorod find. So the main form of this spoon was taken from Novgorod find. And the decoration was taken from the Birka spoon. The original Novgorod find had just some triangles uh, on the center of the handle. I will also show you the sources for it. And I should demonstrate you it slightly better. So as you can see it has the same band as on the previous ones. As you can see these spoons have uh, nearly the same size. They are about 15 centimeters long. and about 4-5 centimeters wide. This one is uh, slightly slightly wider uh, because it's it has more round shape. I have just finished these four, but I will show you some other models of the spoons I made earlier. And here we have one more Birka spoon. As you can see it's straight, so it's easier to make it. And 
here is the header we find. It also has uh, quite a typical form. It has a long straight handle and is bent uh, near the bowl. There are such finds in Hedebu, Poland and maybe other places. Because of the wood grain direction, we can sometimes see handles only, so the bowl was broken off. Also, this one has a hook on the handle, so it's easier to hang it somewhere. So, as you can see, all these spoons are quite richly decorated and well made, but not all of them were like this. And I think that the most amount of spoons were quite simple and easy to replace, so maybe everyone could make a spoon themselves. So that's the small overview of some Viking Age spoons. It's not a complete guide into Viking Age spoons, it's just a small video illustration. I have just finished the spoons and wanted to show you these examples. So big thanks for everyone who have been watching. Please press likes, dislikes and subscribe buttons, leave your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.